do you consider yourself a fan of the books before having written of the Carrie's films? books? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd read Tinker Taylor and Smiley came from the Cold, Smiley's people before you know, a few yeah. years earlier. Um, having been familiar with them, what do you think you were able to bring to the script that you know makes it different than other things you've worked on? <laughs> That's a terrible answer, but I don't think I'm the person you can ask for that. I mean, Bridget and I just tried to keep to the spirit of the book. You know? yeah. so I don't really know if we brought anything of ourselves to it particularly. Uh, yeah. I think there's something about the medium of film means that it has to become its own thing. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it, it's never going to be the same as TV or the same as literature. It's, mm -hmm. Cinema has its own strengths. Mm -hmm. uh, One thing that, of course, separates it from you know, past adaptation of um, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy is that you know this is coming out after the Cold War has ended. So, what do you think um, that what impact does that have it on it? How does that set it apart from the previous adaptation? It's a good question. I mean, you know, the, the TV series came out kind of '79, so it was still right in the you yeah. know, right in the, of the Cold War. Um, I have to say, I, I kind of I think Bridget and I both treated it really as a as a character driven drama, as a mm -hmm. as a story of, kind of the emotional journey of those characters. So we never really thought what we're, we're talking about the Cold War. Yeah. The Cold War felt like the backdrop to the story of betrayal and of loyalty. Mm -hmm. But I, I wonder if we had been making it in the Cold War, I don't think we could have made this film back then. Mm, so I, think it'd be I think you'd have to, there would have been political implications, you know, but it's, it's given us a little distance and perhaps you, you can see with a cooler eye. Yeah. And what um, do you think of the cast that you were able to get together for this film? Got this great kind of all star British cast. Yeah. There are, just over. Uh, well, <laughs> it's the best we could do. Yeah. Um, we were we were really really lucky. I mean, it kind of Thomas didn't want to cast anyone until we had George the Smiley mm -hmm. part, um, and we, we just couldn't think who would play Smiley. You know, we spent a long time talking to names, and we couldn't decide who it was. And then eventually, when Gina J, the casting director, came up with the idea of Gary, that kind of clicked, and Thomas went to meet Gary. And when Gary said yes, then the rest of the casting happened quite quickly. You know, mm -hmm. very quickly they started to form the place. And are you doing anything to help kind of generate awards buzz for this, or just kind of seeing whether voters? Um, if I knew what to do to, to generate awards buzz, I would. Do it. If I knew <laughs> yeah. who to give the money to, I would. Right. Uh, yeah. No, not really. No, right. just just here to enjoy it. <laughs>